thing is uh, unbelievable. Uh, playing is my brother, something special. It's really hard to explain with, with the world. Uh, you know, having a brother playing NBA at the same time as you is, is, uh, is big. I think I feel really good to see him uh, playing good, playing the NBA. My family is they are very proud of us. See them, they're gonna make Kimma give the ball up. Somebody else is gonna to have to do it. Tony Parker with the guts of a cat burglar. Big defense. Hornets have numbers. Kemba leaves it for Bridges. Smart move. <laughs> Absolutely. Their NBA team, they um, you know, they're even though they're losing right now, um, they can turn around at any point, and we don't want to be the team that they do that on. So we just got to be ready to play on both ends. Um, when you come into the league, you hear a lot of stories, a lot of stories of, um, you know, a lot of people don't be in the league long, and you just hear a lot of horror stories. But um, I came into the league with a lot of people that aren't in the league anymore. So it's um, a blessing to still be in the league, and, um, you know, Reggie being a good friend of mine, to see him doing good as well, it's, it's, um, it's a huge blessing. Uh, we have a great relationship. Actually, I was a rookie. He was a, uh, he was in his second year. Um, so he kind of um, helped me. Um, he kind of took me under his wing and helped me uh, learn how to be a professional. And uh, it's always good to see him. So Billy Hernan Gomez and Frank Kaminsky playing together. Uh. Malik Monk! Uh. Lamb's going to have to fire. Got it! <laughs> Jeremy Lamb! Brevin, uh, I bobbled it a little bit. I looked up at the time. I seen it was three seconds. And, um, you know, I knew I had to shoot it. I, I didn't really have time to, like, Put it on the floor, so I just, yeah, I just shot it. I knew, I knew it was three seconds on the clock. Progress in the NBA is not always linear. If you need an example, just take a look at the Hornets through the first 27 games of the season. Big wins over three of the top five teams in the East, five of the other seven playoff teams in the Eastern Conference as well. And there's some crushing losses mixed in with some teams on the wrong side of the playoff cut line mixed in there as well. There have been blowout wins, crushing losses by the thinnest of margins. And going into Wednesday night versus the Pistons, the Hornets had dropped three straight just once all year, but they had also failed to cash in on four two-game winning streaks. Well, the fifth opportunity arose on Wednesday night, and the Hornets found a way to get on the right side of the win ledger. Tied his career high in points. Hey. Nobody stops oh. Jeremy Lamb. Oh. Straight to the glass and in. Lottery pick. Now in his first year in New York. Bridges catch and shoot. I um, mean, we, we're going to have to work on the offense for sure. The next couple of days, we have, have an answer for their defense. That uh, was pretty well. The offense worked pretty well. The defense worked pretty well, and then we couldn't like find a rhythm after that. So. We're gonna move on. Nick, is it fair to say that you may have overlooked the Knicks tonight? No. No. No, no, we, we gotta restart. I mean, if we overlook the, the them, I mean, we were tie game or damn 20 in the first half. No, we were up 20. So we didn't overlook those guys. No, we know we beat them pretty well a couple days ago. It was the way we started the game. I mean, we <laughs> were ready for them again. And then they make an adjustment on zone, and that's on us. I mean, they gotta give them credit too. They play good defense. On zone, you didn't find, you didn't find any solution. The Hornets season thus far has provided as many twists and spills as an amusement park thrill ride. And through the first two months of the season, what we saw last night was a microcosm of it all. It was unpredictable on a Friday night at the Hive. The Hornets hung 72 points in the first half on the Knicks, led by 15 early in the fourth, and then a 21-point lead would dwindle, and the Knicks used desperation to fuel a comeback win in overtime last night. Tonight, the thrilling ride of unpredictability enters the next set of loops, hairpin turns. It's LeBron James, it's the LA Lakers, and the Hornets gotta play the second night of a back-to-back. -back.
jumping ability to make you pay on the offensive glass. Hey! The four. Lamb. Hey, big shot! Kemba hangs in the air and hits. Gets it past Guaba. Get some double digit separation. MKG the poke away. It's a steal. Three on one. Batum with some strength. 